What's up, YouTube? Thank you guys for tuning into another video. It's another great day to get after it and chase your dreams. I hope you guys are having a great day. If you guys are new, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Leave a like, drop a comment below. Let me know what you guys would like to see. And I'll see you guys in the video. Let's get it. Yeah. It is currently eight o'clock in the morning. I got my coffee right here. So we're just about to get the day started. It is game day, uh, Tuesday today. It's a big game. We're playing Grand Rapids and uh, we're looking to get into the playoff run. So the top three teams from our conference makes it to playoff. So uh, from here on out, the games are very important. It's important that we get as many points as we can. So uh, looking forward to it, looking forward to it, showing you guys another game day vlog. Hopefully we can come out of top and get a dub because that'll be uh, super cool and we'll end up going to third place. So yeah, I'm just chilling. I'm just about to have some morning coffee. Uh, gonna kick back for a little bit. I feel like I slept really well. So uh, I feel energized. I'm just gonna chill, watch a bit of Netflix before I start doing some work. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, y'all, so quick update for you guys. It is almost nine o'clock right now. I'm just chilling in the room. So uh, like I said, I felt really good this morning. So I thought I'd just hop on the computer and just start some work. So I'm just finishing up some edits for tomorrow's video, which you guys would have already seen. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm just gonna kick back for a little bit. I think in a little bit, I'm gonna show you guys my stretching routine and how you guys can properly prepare yourself uh, for a game. So uh, obviously there's a bunch of different ways you guys can prepare for a game, but I feel like this is one of the best methods for myself. So if you guys want to try it out, I'll show you guys a stretching routine. But the first thing I think uh, that is very important is just uh, obviously staying hydrated. So drinking water, uh, not drinking too much. So that way you don't cramp up in the games, but just uh, slowly taking sips uh, throughout the day will help definitely help you stay hydrated and be prepared for the game. So in about an hour or so, I'm probably doing the stretch routine and then we'll have breakfast. So uh, I'll see you guys soon. So for those who have been asking me about my stretching routine, it is very simple and basic. And honestly, anyone can do this. Uh, you can do this before your games or you can do it in your daily life as well. This is something I highly recommend you guys doing uh, if you want to prevent injury and also play longer. So uh, I start off the routine with very basic stuff. So just foam rolling, depending on what I'm feeling most sore on. I, most of the times I'll foam roll my back, my groin, and also uh, my quads and my calves. So uh, as well as hamstrings. So all the basic stuff that you guys would do in your regular daily life and training is what I do into my stretching as well. So that's how I usually start it off, which is very basic and simple. As we get into the second part of the uh, routine, we get right into the monster walks. And so honestly, guys, these have helped me so much ever since Ibi has shown me these. I really try to get up and do it every single day. Uh, but it's very simple. As you guys will see, I'm taking 10 steps to the right and then 10 steps to the left. And we'll do the same thing, but going forwards. All right. And I also feel like these ones have helped me open up my glutes. They've given me a harder cross and a harder shot. So as you guys will see, now we're facing forward, just back and forth. We'll do 10 reps of three sets of both. And honestly, guys, this is the best way to warm up your glutes and get them firing. All right, so moving on to the third piece of the stretching routine. Now, uh, I did forget to say in the beginning that you would most likely need a band, uh, but as you guys know, they're not too hard to come across. So it's super basic, easy for you guys to get, but I just work uh, in and out. So as you guys will see, I'm doing kicks forwards. I'll do 20 on one leg and then 20 on the other. And then you guys will see the transition here uh, as we go to the side. So you do it forwards, sideways, and backwards and it's the same reps so it, it all varies up to you it all depends i've built up to 20. Uh, there's been times where if i'm not super sore i'll do 10 to 15 or i'll do 12. it all just depends but if you really want to get the best kick out of it i'd say you'd go to 20. and as we transition you guys will see uh, i also get into the lacrosse ball now this has helped my ankle mobility uh, a lot and so for the most part when I was injured and my ankle wasn't feeling really good I did a lot of this ankle mobility and uh, stability things to help me come back and this one it kind of tickles a little bit but uh, it's really good to have lacrosse balls are really easy to find I was actually really lucky and found this ball out on the field uh, but yeah so um, I work all the way uh, all the muscles that are sore and I just try to get super active and uh, you know, nice and ready for the game. OK, 
Okay, so the final step that I do and I take in order for me to get prepared for my games is just to meditate. So uh, this is something that I've recently started doing a lot and I've seen a lot of professional players do it. And so basically I just put on music, uh, whatever I'm feeling, sometimes I'll feel worship music, sometimes I'll listen to just regular music, sometimes I'll listen to rap, uh, just depending on how I feel. Uh, but basically I'll just chill for a little bit. There's not really like a set time. Um, I just like to just chill, just visualize myself doing good things later on in the game. And so I'll visualize myself doing a good cross. And I know I say this all the time, but uh, once you visualize these things, it will really help you and benefit you, right? You see yourself doing these things, it will give you the confidence to try them out in the game. So I'll visualize myself doing a nice slide tackle or uh, putting in a good cross, taking someone on 1v1, you know, and just, uh, or even like lock down the fence. So I uh, highly recommend you guys to try this, just meditate. Take your time, breathe, and just chill out. Visualize yourself doing good things, and you guys will uh, be hella confident into the games. So I hope you guys enjoyed these uh, quick pointers of how I prepared uh, for games, and I hope you guys can learn something and take them into your routines. All right, y'all, so once again, we're just gonna be having breakfast outside. It's kind of chilly, but another beautiful day for breakfast. We have no oranges today, so we're just gonna go with some grapes, two eggs, a banana, and then uh, me and Nick are probably gonna head for a walk soon. So there's a path along here. You guys saw my recent video. We're probably gonna go there just to get our legs loosened up. So I'll see you guys soon. Can you guys drop a yurt for me in the comments? Drop a yurt. Seriously guys, go drop a yeah. And y'all walk time with the boys. You got Nicholas. What's up bro, how does it feel to get to 100 subs? It feels good bro, capping quick. Like what, a month or something? Yeah bro, I wasn't big. expecting that man. It's good though. Thank you that's for big. all of Anthony subscribers who came over to me. You guys are awesome. Yeah, my <laughs> subscribers, my subscribers are, are, are real bro. They're loyal bro. They're, They're loyal. loyal. They're my dogs. <laughs> my dogs. We got two four of my son. When's the next vlog coming out, bro? This guy, let's see. Subscribe, subscribe to Nana Two Four's channel. I'm gonna have it on the screen. But yo, you gotta be, you gotta be more consistent on the vlogs, bro. Oh, oh, oh. They wanna, they wanna see the vlogs. I'm a little bit busy right now. No. Okay, okay. With what? With what? Family stuff, yo. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. I feel you. I feel you. I know those ones. All right. Yeah, we just wanna walk. Same path as last time that I showed you guys. Matt, chill. But uh, just the usual, you know? Who's who's, who's that? Who's Abe. filming us? Abe? Abe's just filming us from upstairs. But yeah, same path as usual. Yeah, man. Like I said, my subscribers, I love you all. Even if you guys are watching and you're not subscribed, I still love you because you clicked on this video. So subscribe if you haven't. And yeah, come enjoy the walk with us. o'clock right now we just got back from our walk just having an apple as a snack i'm gonna go to the room get some work done kind of kick back for a little bit just lay down you know uh try not to think about the game too much and then uh i'll see you guys in a little bit so let's get it Good. how you doing Good. Can, I get you? can i get a build your own pasta sure uh can i just do oh yeah uh, let's do penne. Okay. And can I do chicken? Okay. And just uh, spinach, please. What kind of sauce? Uh, marinara. Marinara? Yes, please. 
All right, y'all, what's up? So it is three o'clock right now. Uh, we're just getting back home from having lunch. Just uh, the usual, just some chicken pasta. Me and Dito made it a ritual now that we always go to that spot. So uh, feeling good, I'm about to head upstairs. The England game's on. I, I think I'm gonna take a nap for about 30 to 45 minutes. Wake up, watch the second half and get ready to uh, go to the field. Gotta be at the field at 520, so let's go, man. Big dubs only today, we need a, we need a big dub. This team, we tied them last time 2-2 two -two, uh, and our second team played. So today we gotta make sure we, uh, we go hard. So see you guys soon. Yo, what is up and welcome to the voiceover y'all. So for those who don't know, I am currently playing as a left back for the South Bend Lions in the USL2. And I'm going to be switching it up just a little bit differently today because as you guys know, most of our home games are filmed from really high up. So uh, I got a really good friend to take some in-game footage. I'm going to show you guys some in-game footage as well as a little bit of a voiceover. So I'll be showing you guys most of the touches that I took in the game, some of the good opportunities and the goals that were scored on during the game. So I hope you guys enjoy it and I hope you guys can learn something from these videos. Right, guys so the first clip in this voiceover that i'm going to be showing you guys is me defending uh, out wide so as you guys can see i'll pause it right here uh, i close down the space from me and the winger so i try to get as close to him as possible so that way he can't get a good cross in uh, now he tries to go down the line as you guys will see when i let it play through i do just enough uh, get my body against his so he can't play that cross now in the next clip this is something that i definitely need to work on uh, as you guys will see the ball gets popped out to me and i get pretty lucky here i get behind the defense but uh, i play across and i just get under it a little bit too much i think that's definitely something that i could stay after practice and uh, get better on because we definitely have to capitalize on those moments. So uh, next play as you guys will see we just lost the ball now uh, as the ball gets sprayed out wide here I'm gonna pause it right here. So uh, the difference that I did from the first time when I defended him I feel like the space that I left between us was way too big as you guys can see He had a lot of time to get his head up now This does end up in being the first goal and I think this is my fault because if I close him down quick enough, there is no way he gets that cross in um, to his striker. And so I think the starting position that I had wasn't bad. I think I was just a bit lazy and slow to get out to him. Uh, and so as you guys will see when I play it through, uh, he plays a really good ball in and the striker just has a really easy goal uh, and just heads it in. But uh, definitely my fault on the first goal. And so uh, going into the second half, I remember us talking in the set, uh, in the change room. We were saying we have to make sure we start off on the front foot uh, and you know it was an unacceptable start from us. So for some reason, I'm not sure why, but it was a bit, bit sluggish from all of us. And so you guys will see we picked it up a lot in the second half. Uh, first clip you guys will see, just a quick corner, ball gets popped back out to me. Uh, I look to whip it back in, and I think the defender does a good job and just clears it away. So uh, defender headers, headers it. I'm still in a good position. Uh, try to get the ball into a good position, and defender does a good job uh, and just clears it away. So. So we've had some really good fans this year, and honestly, I feel like they're not really highlighted enough. Uh, our fans are probably the best fans in the league, and 
uh, we appreciate them so much so as you guys can see they're always out in every game and always supporting us which is uh, you know why we think they're the best fans so uh, we should definitely appreciate them a lot more Alright, so in this next clip, you guys will see us uh, getting a pretty good scoring opportunity. Ball comes over my top. I do a good job. Uh, win the ball. Play it forward. Uh, now you guys are going to see we get super unlucky here. I've never seen this happen. Uh, but Tim plays a really good ball onto Dylan. Dylan uh, has a goal at goal. Hits the post. Gets it back. Shoots it again. And it, you guys couldn't really see it, but hits the other post. And we were just thinking, wow, how unlucky could that be? <laughs> uh, and uh, next clip, you guys will see... Uh, is us getting forward. This is the goal we scored. Nana makes a good run in behind. Good ball into him from Tim. Uh, great goal by Nana. Great first touch into space. And then as you guys can see, we were buzzing. So it is 1-1. I believe he scored in the 80th minute. So uh, we we're all buzzing. Great goal from Nana. And uh, just like that, we're back in the game. <laughs> All right, so just another good scoring opportunity here. Ball gets popped out to Frankie. He puts a good ball in, so a dangerous ball. Uh, defender just flicks it, and Amas just gets unlucky uh, and almost capitalizes on uh, their mistake. So another good opportunity for us there. Now, uh, this one, ball gets popped out to me. I split two defenders with a touch. Now, this pass, I just put way too much on it. I thought Dylan was going to get there, uh, but just super unlucky. I think I if, if I... Um, Took a little bit off of it. That would have been a really good pass for him to get into a uh, good space to score. So next play ball gets popped out to me. As you can see, I have a touch. It's kind of bouncing. Uh, I went for a screamer and, uh, you know, not just obviously didn't hit it the way that I wanted to, which sucks. But uh, another good chance for us. And same thing here. Get my head up. I see Mateos on top of the box. He has a really good touch. Lays it off to Milo and Milo just over hits it. But as you can see, second half, we we're pressing them high. And it was a lot better from us. So we were doing a really good job keeping the ball and really trying to keep it in their half and try and attack as much as possible. So we do a good job here switching the ball from one side to the other. Ball gets into me. Uh, same thing again. Get my head up. Put a good cross in. And Mateos gets ahead to it. But we just can't guide it to... Uh, to go in the next play you guys will see we just have an in swinging corner uh, now I'm gonna pause it right here because so I had probably about four to five corners on this side alone and I felt like Four out of five times. I hit really good crosses now This is what I was telling you guys in my last game analysis This is something that I definitely need to be better at and be more consistent in order for me to get to that next level and be a pro I have to be hitting these five out of five you guys will see I'll let it play through but the first one uh, it's a pretty good ball into a dangerous area we compete and then we get another corner now uh, this was after me taking like two to three corners like I said before uh, and this is where it's not good enough so the ball comes out in swinging corner again don't beat the first man uh, it does a good job clears it away and then same thing try to get a cross back in it does a good job to block it now uh, this is where I think uh, the second goal is also my fault uh, as you guys can see it's their throw in number one rule uh, never get the ball for the opponent I know it's 1-1 one, one, we want to win uh, but I feel like instead of getting the ball there I should have tracked back to my position so that was my first mistake uh, that I made and so another thing that's really good is for me to see my mistakes right like a lot of people uh, won't take charge if they're uh, in fault and I feel like a hundred percent this is my fault as you guys can see again ball watching here so the ball will play it in ball gets played over top to me uh, try to track back now uh, they end up winning the ball uh, good header from them and then just like that they're on our other side ball gets played through I think he was in an onside position Frankie tries to get back but he does a good job uh, brings the ball around Nick and scores a goal and honestly this was super frustrating because I feel like I played a huge part uh, into both of their goals and obviously, I'm not going to let that, you know, uh, haunt me for the rest of the season. But this is so definitely something that I can watch and get better on. Uh, but yeah, 100 percent. I mean, I hope you guys enjoyed this voiceover and how I had a bit of different game highlights for you guys. I didn't end up doing a closing vlog because I was super upset with myself and the way that I performed. Uh, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys see that there's uh, games where you can have 
that you can win and then there's games that you can lose so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys soon it's easy to say it when you can't even explain but i'm trying to go past that and dive into my brain i'm one of a kind i'm idiosyncratic